Usually, usually when the snow hits around here, the sun comes out the next day and the melting begins. Not with this storm. As the mayor just talked about, shoveling will be necessary, and you might be doing it for two days. But before you get out there for all that heavy lifting, it's important you know how to do it safely. And older Coloradans might be able to get some help with that chore. CBS4's Sean Chitness live tonight with more on that. Sean? Well, Jim, the way the sidewalk looks right now, this is going to be goals for everyone in the next day or two. So as we get ready for that, it is certainly going to be a challenge for those who are doing the shoveling themselves or if you're helping someone else. And it likely is going to be something you're going to need to do early and often. The experts saying make sure that you spread out that plan so that you don't have to do it all at once. Shoveling snow is always a workout. Yeah. But this weekend could put many of our past storms to shame, turning shoveling into an Olympic event, one that CBS4 medical editor Dr. Dave Nida says we haven't been training for. This is going to be something that is a significant event for all of us. So I think you do need to have a plan uh, before you get started. He says to try tackling six inches at a time as the weather allows. He'd be doing this in segments, so to speak. In other words, you don't want to be stuck with going out and shoveling two feet. It's an approach those who do this all the time say works for them as well. We just want to make sure that everybody's safe and to get that snow up as soon as we safely can. Hillary Simmons is the executive director of A Little Help. They provide many volunteer services to older adults, including snow shoveling. And instead of signing up for one storm, their team agrees to shovel for the whole season. We do want our volunteers to get out there as soon as they're safe and, um, and they're able to make sure that our older adults um, can access the community again. And she's one of them who's been responsible for shoveling at two homes nearby this season, which includes the upcoming weekend. It's huge for the, for the older adult, for the peace of mind to know that somebody is going to be there and that it's taken care of and they don't need to worry every time they think it might snow. So right now on our website, we have more tips from Dr. Dave on how you can be healthy and safe while shoveling the snow. Also, that nonprofit that we mentioned, A Little Help, they are always looking for volunteers, and they want to match them with some older adults as early as next week. For that information as well, just head to CBSDenver.com. Reporting live tonight in Denver, Sean Chitness covering Colorado first. All right, Sean, thank you. So